In this video, we'll learn how to install Waza Agent in Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So this Waza portal is right now ready. And in this video, we'll be talking about Waza and how we can manage it. In Waza, if you click here, it has only one application, which is Waza. You can see the Waza dashboard. Here you see the security information and auditing policy monitoring and all the regulatory compliance dashboards and information related to that. And here is threat detection and response. If I click here, you will see all the sub menus related to Waza. You can go to tools and these are all the developer tools in case you want to run any API. So you will be running the API commands through this and you can test those API commands as well. So here in agents, you can see all the agents, how you can install those agents. In the management, you can see all the rules and all the status and reports. So administration and status and reports. If you go to security, you can check the user role and policies in case you want to add any new user you can add the user from here and roles and permissions and policies and all of that can be defined there. So I'll be adding first agent here. You have two options, of course, if you are well familiar with the command line tool, you can access commands which you can use to add or remove the agent. When you add the agent, you can't, of course, remove the agent directly from the web UI. So I'll show you that as well. So in PuTTY, I'll be accessing 192.168.240.7, which is the IP address of Waza server. Here I'll be accessing user is Waza dash user and password is Waza. So of course, this particular user is not logged in as a root. So in order to change this to root, I'll be using sudo dash i. So you can see here this user has been logged in as root. So in order to manage the agent, so we can, of course, use various commands here. If I take you to the command line tool, so cd slash slash var slash here inside this, there is a folder called osec. And inside OSEC, there is bin, and these all commands can be used here. Agent control, agent groups, agent upgrade. So in order to run the commands, I'll use, for example, slash VR, slash OSEC, slash bin, slash manage underscore agents. So you can now add the agent, extract the list of the agents, and remove the agent. In case I want to see the list of all the agents, I'll type in L. So it will give me list of all the agents. So there is no agent right now available. So from this tool, you can in fact remove the agent as well. So I'll quit this for the time being and exit. Now I'll be installing the first agent, which will be my laptop, which is Windows PC here. So I'll go ahead to home. It will also display me no agent is added. So you can add it. Otherwise you can go here and agents. It will open the agents page. Here you can see which agent you want to add. I'll be adding Windows. So it can install agent into Windows machine. And here I need to use the fully qualified domain name if you are using the DNS for this. Otherwise, I'll be typing in the IP address. This is the IP address of my server 192.168.240.7, which is the server IP address of Fuzza. And here this is optional information, whether you want to type in or not. Otherwise, it will take the host name of the agent by itself. I'll be typing the agent name, which will be Amjad dash zenbook so this will be my zenbook agent and i'll keep other settings as default now you can see here that first step was to of course choose what what type of agent you are deploying and then the server ip address then the agent name and here on fourth step you have this particular command that you need to copy and run to install the agent we'll simply copy this and we'll open the windows powershell as an administrator and yes I'll copy this command from here and I'll just go here in PowerShell and paste it over here. You can see this will get the package from the URL, which is packages.wazoo.com. And here is the agent, the version for Windows. The agent will be 4.7.3 MSI. These are the environment variables which will be passed while the installation is taking place. Agent name will be Amjad Zenbook and the IP address of the server will be this. I'll be simply pressing enter here. Now it will start writing the request it will install the package inside our windows operating system now you can see here that waza has been installed and in case you want to make sure that this has been installed so you can go to add remove programs and in the programs you can see here waza agent will be installed here you can see here waza agent is installed in case you want to uninstall you can do it from here but i won't recommend you that now of course agent is installed but the service is not running. This will be running as a service in the background. And in order to start that service, we'll be starting the agent here. So I'll copy command and 
start this service here you can see that Waza service is running now if I go to now Waza dashboard you can see one agent has been added it has started sending information from my laptop so we'll see here again into services and in services you will look for Waza you see here this is Waza it is running right now and it will automatically start the moment your system or your server or Windows machine will start so it will be sending all the events to this particular security platform which is Waza here you can see active agent is one so if I go to active agent now you will see all the details of this active agent which is Amjad Zenbook its IP address group and operating system and all the details are here so if I see the status which is active I can click here it will give me all the information related to this particular system what type of latest scans has been running you can see here how many are passed how many are failed here you can go into the vulnerabilities you can see all the vulnerabilities which are detected in this system all the event details will be here if you click on inventory data it will show you all the devices which are connected how many network interfaces are there how many network ports are there what ports are open what ports are closed all the windows update details are here which type of packages are installed which type of software are installed in this which type of processes are running here what operating system is installed which version is there what type of cpu is there what is the host name of this and what is the board serial number when was the latest scan done you can generate the report directly from here by clicking the generate report if you go into report reporting so you will see this report is available for you you can simply download this report and the report will be available here this is complete inventory data report of your agent that you have installed you can see right now there is one agent only added so in order to add the agent you'll go here and click on deploy new agent and then you will choose which type of agent you want to add over here so mac os is also the agent that can be added so i'll be simply opening waza portal here as you already know that one agent has already been installed so i'll be going here and deploying the new agent i'll click on deploy a new agent my chipset is apple silicon not the intel so i'll be choosing this one and now the server ip address will be same what we used before i'll copy and paste it here and then here the agent name agent name is this one which is macbook so i'll be using here group will be default and here i'll be using this command i'll copy this and i'll open terminal here and i paste this in terminal enter now it will get the package give the password so waza agent is being installed install was successful now we'll go to the next step which is to run this this as a service so i'll go to sudo library osec bin waza control start so this is the command that we will copy and paste it over here and now our Waza service will start on our macbook and here you go so which means everything is fine now it must be detecting now here yeah, so i'll just close this and we'll see how many agents are there there are two agents running and two active agents are there and here you can see one is the zenbrook another is the macbook pro now we can also install waza on linux so here i'm on my ubuntu desktop which is linux desktop i'll enter the same ip address which is 192.168.240.7 login with your user id and password you can see two agents are already installed here so i can see linux and windows and i can see deploy agent here for linux we have multiple architecture options here you can do with amd 64 bit or arch 64 so i'll be using amd 64 bit architecture here you can see fully qualified domain name again i'll be typing the ip address 192.168.240.7 and here the agent name which will be amjad ubuntu and here you can see this is the command that i'll be using in terminal copy this from here and here in the applications i will go into terminal open the terminal and paste the command here and let me expand and enter so this is a dev package which will be installed i'll just enter the password for my account here you go
So agent has been installed. Now we'll be making sure that these services will be automatically running. So I'll just again go back to terminal, paste these commands here and enter. Now my service is being created and my service will be started. You can see here that service is created. I'll close this from here. Now the agents are two and one is never activated. So newly activated agent will be now activated in Linux. So it is sending the details. I'll keep on refreshing this. You can see three agents are there, two are active. We'll wait for this to start appearing. Clear or exit this from here. Now we'll refresh this again. That's it. Three agents are now active. So we have installed it on Ubuntu desktop 22.04. Similarly, you can see all the details here. So inventory details are here. How many Ethernet cards are there? How many network ports are open? And here down, you can see all the packages which are installed in Ubuntu desktop. And here are all the processors which are running. This was all about the agent installation on Ubuntu desktop. Ubuntu desktop is also sending the data to Vaza. So this was all about Vaza. Of course, this is a huge system. If you want me to cover any specific aspect of Vaza, you can mention them in the comment section. I will definitely make the video and I'll help you on that. Hope you like this video. See you next video. Take care and goodbye.